Have you ever been put on the spot and made to give a speech without any preparation? Have you ever been asked to speak at a random family gathering without a heads up? Well, at least I have and let me tell you, it's not pleasant. Hello, I'm Daner, CEO and co-founder of Ori, a speech coach in your pocket. And today I'll tell you just what you need to know to escape awkward, spur of the moment speech situations and instead ace them like a boss. So let's go. First things first, what is an impromptu speech? It's simply a speech that you need to deliver with little or no preparation. But it's almost always based on something you already have some idea about because giving a speech on something you don't know anything about is just blabbering. Preparing for an impromptu speech, I know, I know, it sounds rather ironical, but trust me, if you want to handle impromptu speeches without making a fool out of yourself, you need to lay the groundwork. Before we do that, what are some impromptu speech examples? It could be anything, but let's take an impromptu marketing proposal for example. Imagine you work at a marketing agency and you're working on a client's marketing strategy. Your presentation isn't due for another week, but the client shows up unannounced and asks you for a strategy. That's going to be an impromptu speech because you weren't completely prepared for it, but you still had some idea because you were already working on that strategy. In fact, all the press conferences that you see where journalists ask questions to celebrities and politicians, they are all technically impromptu speeches. Even the random questions that your friend asks like, what is the most memorable moment of your life? Or what's one skill you wish you had learned sooner? Or small talk during social gatherings are in fact impromptu speeches. And how can we forget the dreaded impromptu questions during job interviews and college interviews? Hence, they're pretty common. Overall, there are three types of impromptu speech topics. Number one, being opinion-based topics. Second is hypothetical or situational topics. And finally, topics based on personal experiences. Let me share some impromptu speech topics you can try today and practice with. Ebooks are better than books. What would you do if you were the president of the United States for a day? Talk about someone who has influenced you a lot and why. Are you with me till now? Great. Let's talk about ways to ace all impromptu speeches and presentations so that you can seize the day with your words on the spot. Number one on the list is practice regularly. I've said this before and I'll say it again. There's nothing like regular practice to prepare you for impromptu speeches. I know you can't practice for a specific impromptu speech, but you can practice so that you know how to deliver a speech well. Try choosing random topics and speak on them for a minute. You can even download the Ori app, go to practice mode and enable give me a topic to help you with this. We have a complete video with more interesting and affordable practice tips. Check it out in the description below. Also, to give an effective impromptu speech, you need to become a quick thinker. Check out our video on thinking before speaking linked in the description below. Big tip number two, take some time to compose your thoughts and divide your time. More often than not, you already know enough to speak, but have difficulty formulating your speech at the last moment. Don't worry, just remember the simple outline of introduction, body, and conclusion, and fit your ideas accordingly into the three divisions. Take some time if possible to quickly plan what you'll say in the introduction and the conclusion. This will help give you a structure and flow to your impromptu speech. To be precise, if you have two minutes, Roughly divide your time into 30 seconds for the introduction, 60 seconds for the main body, and finally remaining 30 seconds for the conclusion. You can also try and find keywords to structure your speech around. This will help you stay on track and not deviate from the topic. Now, what do you do if you can't think of good ideas while giving an impromptu speech? Simply connect the topic at hand with your own life. Try to make connections from your own life with a topic and speak using that experience. It adds a personal touch and relatability to your speech while also giving you some interesting anecdotes to add to your impromptu speech. For example, let's say two people are debating about which phone is better, iPhone or Android, and they ask you for your opinion. In this situation, you will have to give an impromptu speech to convey your stance. The best way for you to give that speech would be to recount your own experience of using these phones and how good or bad it was. 
You can also talk about your friends, peers or family who might have used any of these devices and how their experience has been. This will make it easy for you to give an impromptu speech and add credibility to it as it is based on real life experience. And finally, confidence is the key. It's normal to be nervous for an impromptu speech, but you need to be confident. More often than not, you'll know more about the topic at hand than the audience. So remember that and talk like you mean it. It's essential to be confident while speaking. The audience tends to believe in what you say and stay interested when you speak with conviction. Those were all my tips and tricks for you to master the art of impromptu speaking. I'm sure if you remember these, you'll be able to deliver a spot on impromptu speech very soon. For more ideas and examples, don't forget to check out our blog on the topic linked in the description below. And if you're still looking for more information and ideas, we have several other videos to help you. But before that, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got more awesome and informative content around public speaking, communications, and other tips and tricks for you in the box that we put out every Friday. We'd also love for you to leave all your questions and suggestions in the comments below.